Chinese art and culture. Being one of the four ancient civilizations in the earliest time periods, traditional art has played an important role in the formation of China's culture. Through the years, it has excelled in all forms of art, which include performing arts, sculpture, and paintings, and also cave drawings. Chinese Red Lanterns Chinese Red Lanterns have a long history, and they have become a well-known symbol of Chinatowns worldwide. They started out as a practicality and evolved into elaborate status symbols, literally riddled with mystery. While the earliest Chinese lanterns were created for practical use in the house and, the e and as entranceway lighting, they eventually became highly ornamental in the, in the status symbol. Although there is no longer pra practical need for Chinese lanterns, they are still made, used, and enjoyed by the Chinese people. They continue to be a mean of artistic expression, both in terms of functionality, design, and decoration. Chinese Bonsai Chinese Bonsai is the art of designing a miniature tree in a shallow pot or container. Chinese Bonsai, inspired by nature, originated from China around 1300 years ago. Bonsai is often viewed as an object for meditation. Chinese style meditation encourages liberation of the mind, encouraging it to flow in its own natural way. The purpose of bonsai is not just to recreate nature in a pot, but to actually capture the spirit. The Chinese see the universe as, as having two sides of cosmic energy. This is called the yin and the yang. In a bonsai tree, this is depicted through drama, rhythm, and balance. Chinese Kites The kite is widely recognized as having originated in China. It was an attempt to mimic a creature designed by nature for flight. As dynasties progress, kite making and flying had become an art form being the object of elaborate and colorful decorations in the form of birds, flowers, blossoms. Chinese Painting Chinese painting has a rich history as an enduring art form and is well known throughout the world. Traditionally, Chinese painting is done on rice paper or thin silk using a variety of brushes, Chinese ink and dye. Chinese painting covers a variety of subjects, portrait, landscape, flowers, birds, animals, and insects. There are two main techniques in Chinese painting. One is gongbi or meticulous att attention to detail referring mainly to portraits and xieyi or freehand referring mainly to landscapes. Chinese Kung Fu, also known as Wu Shor, Chinese martial arts, it is one of the most famous examples of Chinese culture. It has also been one of the oldest sports in China. The concept of Chinese Kung Fu was based on a classical Chinese philosophy. It demands vigorous training and incorporates exercise, self-discipline, and self-defense with art. Chinese Acrobatics it originated from Chinese folk dance and is still being applied until now. It is often used in the circus and for theatrical performances like the Beijing Opera and also the Chinese folk dance. There are two pillars of Chinese acrobatics which are required and are the key elements into becoming a successful acrobat. This requires intense control over the whole body and mind. Beijing Opera It began about 200 years ago it is the most significant of all operas in China. The opera is a combination of action, singing, dialogue, and acrobatic fighting and dancing to portray the character's feelings. The stories of the opera are mainly about fairy tales, important historical time periods, and dynasties. For a successful show, the actors prepare hard, beginning with their clothing and costumes, which are elegant and made with high-quality materials. The makeups they wear are also rich in color and are pleasing to the eye. Chinese folk dance. In the early times, the folk dances were used as rituals for superstitious beliefs like bringing good harvest and good hunt. There are many types of folk dances, one of which is the ethnic minority folk dance, wherein the choreography is based on a dance that illustrates the ethnic culture or narration of a certain folk tribe. Another type is the court dance, which was a dance in celebration of the might of the imperial army. Lastly, two of the most famous dances, the lion and the dragon dances, 
are portrayals of how fierce the beasts are. All these dances are made up of elegant props and costumes and require acrobatic performances from the dancers. Chinese Puppet Plays These are performances that use puppets for entertainment or religious purposes. Puppets are also used to stage dramas, comedies, and musical performances. There are four types of Chinese puppet plays. Marionettes on strings or wires, rod puppets, shadow plays, and hand-manipulated glove type puppets. Each type is unique on its own but brings the same joy and impact on the audience. Performing puppet plays requires a lot of practice in order to catch the attention of the audience, especially now that there is a competition with technology.